come together to help a Petersburg senior citizen coping with one of the worst things that could happen to a homeowner. A sewage backup that kept happening over and over again. Diane Walker on your side at six with some good news and how it all worked out, Diane. Yes, guys, everyone wants to see 88 year old Bertha Moss get the help she needs, but Unlike most cities or counties in our area, Petersburg makes the homeowner responsible for repairing sewer blockages that are in the street. Utility workers with their shovels, pipes, and excavating machinery didn't just show up by chance. Outside the Halkin Street home, where a clogged sewer line has pushed raw sewage back into the house three different times since January. It took cash, a little more than three grand, to get the utility crew here. Money Bertha Moss told me she did not have when I first shared with you her horrible predicament last month. Sewer backups filling the tub, toilet, even overflowing into the washing machine and other plumbing outlets. Just pray to God and get it fixed. The city of Petersburg wanted most of the money before even dispatching a crew to remove the faulty piping and install a new sewer lateral. NBC 12 viewers collectively moved the earth for the 88-year-old. Steve Petrick and his wife Carol paid half the bill and said, after watching the news article about the condition in which Ms. Moss was required to live with raw sewage backing up into her house, we were appalled and knew we had to help. Dave Tolley paid the other half. Sadly, the former American Red Cross volunteer did not get to see how his generous gift improved Bertha's life. Dave died about a month after receiving a cancer diagnosis. His wife Beth says it meant a lot to Dave to be able to help. The Petersburg utility crew finished the job in a day, removing the rusty lateral, the cause of the backups, they say. It was tossed in the back of a dump truck, and a new sewer connection was installed from the curb to the main line. But get this, in addition, new lines were also installed from the house to the curb. Thanks to Dave Thompson, general manager of M.A. Williams Drain Cleaning, Plumbing, Heating, and Air. His team did the work for free, even putting down grass seed and straw. Bertha and her son Wendell, who advocated for her, are thankful. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank and you're a labor? And you all. Now, Dave Thompson says he's happy to help get Miss Moss's plumbing back in working order. Petersburg officials say going forward, she shouldn't have any problems, but if she does and the blockage is in the street, the city will take care of it. On your side, Diane Walker, NBC 12. What I